little more breeze for round three of the Lotus Development International Series. Beautiful day here on Sydney Harbour and a perfect line in what has been a very even series so far. Ending with a breeze of around 12 knots. Amiga Spec 2UE looking for an improved performance. Trevor Barnabas chasing a sixth title. All the skiffs chasing a, a wind shift on this first run out to the top mark and they'll prepare to tack for the first time. And move they do, the tack from Amiga Spec to UE. And alongside Trevor is his son, Trent, and the other crewman, Ben Felton. An easterly course always guarantees plenty of chopping and changing in the placings. They rarely settle down until about the halfway mark. And even then a wind shift can lift you through the fleet. Early, Rag and Famish and Semantic both among the front runners. Incredibly tight racing in round three. No doubt the Australian 18 footers league is back as the dominant fleet. Our onboard semantic, they look to have recaptured some of that form from the opening round. Got a bit on they the took out the first uh, race. They were 13th last round. Of course, the 18 footers, they can be a difficult craft to manoeuvre, but no problems for this crew right at the moment. Working well as a team. They right. make the shift. And now John Winning and Yandu coming in the foreground. One of 10 new boats in this year's event. Yep. Johnny Winning is the skipper. We have problems with Semantic. They've gone for a swim. They are out of the event. So that leaves Yandu out in front. Amiga Smeg to UE and Trevor Barnabas. Much improved today. Tacking around the top mark. And that is beautiful work maintaining their speed. Sydney's Daniel Phillips was a late replacement as skipper of the UK boat Bergs. And he did a great job on the run down the harbour the first time. But already Johnny Winning was putting a gap in the fleet. Behind them, a spectacular sight as the fleet gives chase. Five of the big guns going at it. With the league taking control of the design and costs involved with these boats, the fleet is becoming more competitive every season. John Harris, the skipper of Twin Wells, he's got his crew in front and going very nicely, but this is as tight as it gets. Peter Sorensen is sandwiched in the middle on Electro Workstation. On his inside, Sports Illustrator Tommy Hilfiger. Mitsubishi and Lotus also in the picture. Now Vizio rounding the mark and the Australian 18 footers league boat as well on a Tama. And Seller Masters comes into the frame, one of the better performed crafts from round one. Real open go in round three of this series. Sorensen and his crew of Cameron McDonald and Greg Homan are thriving on the pressure of championship racing. They were second in the recent New South Wales titles and as a two-time world champ, he knows what's required to win. Out in front, one of the great stories of these championships was unfolding as Yan Du powered away. Johnny Winning, the skipper on Come Yan Du, has been a long, long time between drinks. Hasn't won a championship race in over 20 years. Twice he's been runner-up at the Worlds to Ian Murray. This could well be his day. Now on board Seller Masters, they're currently running 10th. Yep. Keep it on, if you can. Keep, 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 keep. Come on, mate. Tony Hannon firing up Jeremy Hampshire and Nick Rich, his crew. The traffic was getting heavier in the middle of the harbour, which wasn't helping Amiga Smeg to UE in their bid to haul in Yandu. Trevor asking for more from his son Trent and forward hand Ben Felton. But this day belonged to Yandu. The line is inside for Johnny winning and Yandu. What a moment it will be for him. It has been a tragic few weeks with a Sydney to Hobart. His brother Richard was the skipper of Winston Churchill, which sank during the race. And John lost several great mates in that tragic event. Contrast in emotions today. His crew working hard. They know they've got this 1-1. One -one, and there will be some emotion shown for sure. The downwind run at full flight. Yandu comes yep. across the line and claims victory. Fantastic performance. As we look at the results from round three, Yandu defeating Sports Illustrated Tommy Hilfiger, Amiga Smeg, TUE and Trevor Barnabas in third position. Lotus Development and Seller Masters rounding out the top ten. The big turnaround though, our winner from round two, Emery Worldwide and American skipper Howie Hamlin coming in in 19th position. Right now, let's hear from John Winning and a tribute to some great mates. Didn't start too well a year with a sort of Hobart and I lost a couple of good mates there. Um, my old uh, crew from 1970, 76, I think, the blacks that sailed with me. So you know, we'll put this one down as one for them.
What a series this is turning out to be. Three different winners from the first three rounds. Sports Illustrated, Tommy Hill figure in front. Three races down, four to go. Join us next week for the thrilling finale to the Lotus Development International 18-foot series. <laughs>